I have just started this layout in Photoshop Elements 8, which only recently came out, and I went to use the new adjustment layer to change the color of this frame when I discovered how different the adjustment layers are in Photoshop Elements 8 from previous versions. And so I want to do this quick video to show you a little bit of how they're different. And uh, that way, and when you're going through some of my video tutorials in the subscriber area, um, if you, you've never used any of the previous versions, you'll, you'll know why um, they work a little different. Be able to meander your way through and, and learn the differences. Um, first, I'm going to close this effects palette by just clicking on the bar here at the top. And down here is the new adjustment layer icon. Um, the icons are now in the bottom instead of the top. They've gone back and forth a few times, I think. And so I'm going to click on this new adjustment layer and choose the hue and saturation. And then, oh, I was so surprised. Where did my layers palette go? It did take me a minute, I must admit, to figure out what in the world went on. So if you are doing the same thing, don't feel stupid. Um, actually, here's the layers palette, and the, the uh, adjustment, the new adjustment layer, actually comes up now as a palette in the uh, palette area. And um, so, uh, what's happening here is I've I've uh, um, made my screen small for recording purposes for resolution purposes so my files my, my video files are not so large so mine's going to act a little different than yours on a, that is on a full screen but you should be able to click on both of these and activate them uh, but for me i'm going to have to um, undock the uh, adjustment layer so that we can uh, see uh, both of them at the same time. Let me make sure I get this up enough so you can see all of it. Okay, and so uh, what we can now just uh, proceed forward in moving the sliders uh, until we get a color that we want. Uh, but I see down here at the bottom um, some other options. Let me go up just a little higher so you can see them all. This one here says the it, it clips the layer to all layers below. So if I click on that, you'll see the down arrow. and But it's clipping it to all layers below, and I really don't want that. I just want it to be clipped to the frame layer, and so I'm actually going to just press Control-G. Um, that way it's not going to change my photo color. This one here toggles the layer between visibility, which you can also do here. Not sure why they need it in both places. This one here is cool. It toggles be, uh, previous state um, with the changed state, state. In other words, the before and after. It says, uh, if you look at it, it says you can also press this uh, back slash key to uh, toggle. And so if I hit that, we see the before. Oh, you have to hold it down before and after, before and after. And this key here um, resets it to the default settings, which is our original color. Now, when I, and, and of course, from other tutorials, you might know how to use the uh, this drop down menu here, but I don't want to go into great details. I want this to be simple and easy. The cool thing that I want to show you is here is this colorize button. And so I can click the colorize button, and now it's going to take on whatever color, rather it being um, uh, a blending of that color. I can uh, make it the exact color that I am choosing here. And so then I can um, uh, just scroll until I find the color uh, that I like. And so I wanted to uh, share with you how cool that is because um, what I can do is, uh, like you saw, I can keep this open. It used to be in a pop-up box. I can keep this open at the same time as seeing my layers palette. Um, before you would not be able to see both of them because once you made your adjustment and closed your pop-up box, um, then uh, 
you couldn't um, you had to click to open that pop-up box again so uh, this way if I want to make changes such as I did when I press control G while having my pop-up box open at the same time you can do that so I you know it, it looks a whole lot different than what we had before to utilize um, gonna take a lot of practice I see down here this bottom row is the current color um, it's gonna take a lot of practice to get used to the changes but I think we're gonna like the changes